It's all about silver today with the launch of the World Silver Survey in New York. And our senior reporter, Alan Sakora caught up with Thomson Reuters GFMS's Philip Klapwick, the team leader for this survey, to talk about the outlook for silver. Here's what he had to say in terms of price projections for this year. Basically, is that we uh, can see a you know, fairly volatile price uh, continuing. Um, if you look at the first quarter, the uh, price volatility was over 34%, and we had a trading range basis for London fixing of almost $8.50. We think that in Q2, silver's probably going to trade uh, just shy of 33 down to maybe a bit below $29. So we're not really expecting fireworks in the short term. Indeed, we, we think they could could be a, a dip below $30 on the cards, um, particularly if gold moves lower. In regards to the factors driving the price, here's what Philip responded. There isn't quite the same uh, investor appetite as, as there was last year for silver. Um, silver really benefited from a considerable um, surge in investor interest last year, which was, which was seen... Um, particularly uh, in, in the OTC market and in physical metal. So what was driving investment demand? This is what Philip had to say. Well, I, I think, I th I think what, what was driving it was a variety of factors. I think um, we saw a continuation of the sort of ratio-type trade that began uh, in the final third of 2010, uh, spilling over into the first few months of 2011. And I think a number of investors felt that the ratio was going to drop back, drop further still, with, with some people talking of 16 to 1 as a, as a target, which, of course, d didn't materialize. Um, I think the move in the ratio in Silver's favor sort of definitely brought in more investors. Uh, the momentum story uh, for Silver was very strong in, in, in the first quarter. And uh, silver prices were tremendously resilient and, and kept on marching higher. And as such, uh, targets started to, to get revised. I mean, fifty dollars was the, was the big big number. And, and uh, you know, before we, we we briefly got there, a lot of people started talking about a hundred dollars out silver. And uh, I think this helped to explain some of the latter stage investment that, that took part. In terms of silver mine production now, Philip also expects this to continue in an upward trend. Here's what he said. We, we are expecting silver mine production this year uh, to rise. Um, the increase, though, is not expected to be particularly large. I think we're talking about, let me just see. Yeah, we're expecting actually a 4% rise this year. Um, and we're expecting a lot of that increase to come from Mexico and Canada. That wraps up our silver coverage for today. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can email me at newsfeedback at kitco.com. For Kitco News, I'm Daniela Cambone.